Welcome to Audio and Acoustics with Norman Varney. Want to make an audible improvement to your system without any expense? Cleaning the contacts throughout the system is a good maintenance habit to form. Um, people are really surprised at how much of a, a, a difference it makes, especially if it's been a long time since you've cleaned your connections. Um, good maintenance habit to form, say at least twice a year. I'll do it when we do a time change, so as a, a reminder, you should probably do it more often if you live close to the ocean or in, are in an environment that um, has high contaminants in the air. Um, your system hasn't changed. You may feel that it doesn't sound as good as it did, and probably um, what is occurring is the connections have oxidized, they've gotten dirty, and the connections have uh, loosened a bit. Um, so we're going to start, we're going to go through the chain from one end to the other. So we're going to start with the, the power connections, then we'll do interconnect and speaker cable. We'll also cover uh, tubes and cartridge leads. So let's get started. So here's what you'll need to clean your contacts. Um, over on the left, a magnifying glass with good light is a big help. Um, alcohol. The purer the alcohol, the better. At least 91%. It's still cheap. The 99% is kind of expensive. But the 70% leaves a film residue. Um, at the end of the video, I'll show you that residue. A little cup that has some alcohol in it to, to rinse. And then some kind of scrubbers. These I picked up on Amazon or Q-tips will do 90% of the, the work. Uh, the little white deal in the in, uh, in the middle there is from Sumiko. It's a nice IC, RCA scrubber. But you can see this one's kind of uh, uh, had it. <laughs> um, and then if you've got something that's really dirty, uh, the deoxit uh, from Keg is, is a good cleaner. But I do recommend then afterwards going over it with alcohol so that nothing's left. I have not liked contact enhancers. Um, the tweak there on the left of the, the keg deoxit um, is a good one, and I think it's stable at 22 is also a good one, but all the other ones that I have tried have left some kind of sonic impression that I haven't cared for. And then the green deoxit there is if you've got a mixer or faders, um, it, it's a fader cleaner. Uh, and then uh, lastly, we've got an, um, power cords so that we can scrub the uh, uh, female outlets. So I'll show you how to use each of these now. So the first thing you're going to want to do is turn off all the power, obviously. Uh, we'll start out with the power connections. Uh, pretend this is in a wall, uh, so you're not going to be wanting to poke anything in there. So what we're going to do is start out with a, um, a power cord we're going to clean that, and we can start out by just dipping it in uh, some alcohol and then using a, a scrub brush, like so. And then inserting it. I mean, you're going to make sure that that's clean, and you may have to do it a couple of times and rinse it and so forth. But once it's clean, then you're going to insert it and remove it several times. And then when you're done, you're going to probably want to clean this uh, uh, one more time with a, a clean Q-tip. And maybe get it out of the bottle if the uh, alcohol in the, in the well is dirty. And then the other end, if it looks like this, again you can dunk it. And then you can use a little brush to get in there and clean it like so. And then again, having the magnifying glass is, is, with good light is a real help to make sure that there's no uh, fibers from a, a Q-tip or, or anything else that you can see and make sure that all the uh, oxidization, uh, any carbon and so forth, is, is off. 
RCAs are easy enough, especially with something like this device. Or if it's really dirty, you can use a, a scrubber. You can get down in there as well. And again, just make sure that everything is clean. Microphone cables, balanced interconnect, uh, same thing. Easy with a just a Q-tip, really, for the, ma the uh, male pins. Not so easy with the females, and that's where the uh, this little device is is really handy. You can dip it. Like so. And then same with the, the microphone. This one's got quite a bit of oxidization. You can see on the on the Q-tip I'll show you here. It's been a while since I've cleaned this guy. Spades, banana plugs, um, pins, five-way binding posts. Um, you can probably just get with alcohol. Again, this would be clean, uh, or take it from the bottle. Um, and you can probably do it with just Q-tip, unless it's really dirty, in which case use a nylon brush. Bananas, same thing, real easy, female end. Q-tip will usually get in there. And then spades, I like spades more contact surface area and you can cinch down on them hard. Gold, not such a fan of gold, but it doesn't oxidize, that's nice, but it does require, uh, um, it's not a great signal transfer, not as good as copper, but then copper and silver, which are great at conducting, oxidize. And so with gold, you've got to also add nickel for the, the bond to, to work. So it's a little bit of an impedance, but in the long run, uh, it doesn't oxidize, and that's an, an advantage. Brass is also great, uh, like like this guy from Tiffany. Tubes are easy, but a couple of cautions. One, though, you should have clean hands, of course, when you're cleaning. You want to handle the, the tubes with gloves or uh, some kind of cloth so you don't get your uh, oil on the tubes. And then, of course, you don't want to uh, be cleaning the female sockets because um, they're connected to power and so forth. So once these pins are clean, then you're going to insert them and uninsert them like we did the uh, power outlet to clean the, the female tubes. And then lastly, I would never use any contact enhancers on, on tube pins because it'll just bake on and then it's really hard to get off. So I would just dip the the uh, pins in and uh, depending on how much oxidization there is probably just a q-tip is going to do it and again just make sure that there's no fibers remaining cartridge pins just like any other pins um, if you have a removable stylus you want to clean that super carefully so you don't touch the cantilever or, or uh, uh, diamond and then uh, if you've got a removable head shell the uh, the cartridge leads you can you can dip and then clean um, you're also going to have these probably that you'll have to remove and clean those pins on these leads here don't open them up like with a toothpick or anything like that uh, just do your best to um, to to soak them um, and if you've got a, a small nylon brush that'll fit in there, that would be great. And then, again, don't forget these contacts and also on the tone arm. And that's just going to be a, a quick little cleaning with, the, uh, with alcohol. So, easy, right? Try cleaning your system and comment below. And if you're interested in more audio and acoustic tips, 
please subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.